Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am doing something interesting, something that you've been asking me to do for quite a while, but I couldn't do it because we had warm spring, hot summer, and fairly warm fall season. Finally, winter is starting to get into the area where we live, and we are having some really cool, cold days. So I was able to pick one of the coldest days out of the week, and I took one of my garlands outside to test in some brutal conditions. Balloon garland that I tested in this video, I made a whole DIY tutorial video on that particular balloon garland. And let me tell you, that balloon garland is by far my favorite balloon garland that I've made on my channel. It is stunning, exactly what I love to see in balloon garlands. I tried new things, I added new stuff, so it's very pretty. That DIY will be linked in the description under the video, so go ahead and check it out. I'm pretty sure you will love that balloon garland. To create that balloon garland, I used Party City balloons in the mix with Qualitex balloons. These balloons went through crazy experience outside. You want to see this video, so stay tuned. Let's go. To give you a full picture of what's happening outside, I'm gonna show you right here, our daily forecast. Today is 35, the highest, and at night it's gonna be very cold, it's gonna be 18. So, let's look outside. It's very sunny, it's chilly, and it's windy. So we'll see what's going to happen. Wish me luck, I'm gonna go and hang this one up. I am almost ready to go outside. I put on this uh, apron that I love so much. This is especially for crafting. You can pack your pockets with stuff that you need. And this is very, very handy. This apron will cost you $7.50. And you can always use my code Anastasia10 for 10% off at checkout. I put my fishing line over here. This is my 20 pound fishing line. I have scissors over here to cut my fishing line and a whole bunch of safety pins to help me attach my garland. Let's put some shoes on and a coat, obviously, because it's pretty cold outside and let's go make this happen. literally cutting a long piece of fishing line wrapping this fishing line around my balloon garland preferably around uh, the base where I you know constructed my balloon garland with fishing line so fishing line can hold fishing line and then I'm taking it and tying it right on my lamp over here and then I want to put one more safety pins right there just to make sure we'll see and I'll show you how I use safety pins to attach my garlands as well. Let me quickly show you how I attach my balloon garland outside using safety pins. So I took a safety pin and as you can see this trim over here is, I don't know if wood or not, but it's pretty soft and I can puncture this thing with my safety pin. I am not going on the face side of this whole thing. I am going from the side. So I'm kind of pushing this safety pin as hard as I can. Pretty in there. So now I'm taking my fishing line, wrapping around my balloon garland and tying my fishing line to this safety pin. It's windy, you guys. What's so cool about this streamer with that sticky part that you can peel it off really easily and replace it anywhere you want. So I want to remove this streamer and I want to re-stick it somewhere. I have no idea where. Replace it probably on that side so it would be a lot prettier. This is my garland, fresh garland out of the house. 
this is how it looks so far it looks really really pretty i can't talk right now i can't feel my fingers i am frozen as i said it's going to be 35 the highest and 18 at night i will be doing updates for you guys probably every two to three hours we'll see and i won't be doing many updates because it's going to get dark pretty fast so we'll see what this balloon garland will look like tomorrow it's gonna go through some very very cold temperatures does it match my brief no does it match christmas nope i guess i am all ready for new years also it's 11:09 in the morning right now so i'll see you in a little bit How cute that's nicole's birdhouse we don't have trees on our property yet so she put it out there maybe some birds will nest there who knows anyways here's what i want to do you guys i want to try to use these rubber bands to kind of secure because some of the parts are wobbly and it's obviously this building garland is not made outside and for the outside it just hung the garland how it was kind of like was the best way for the garland to hang here so i want to secure because it's pretty windy where we live so i'm stretching my rubber band over one of the balloons and then over to the next balloon here we go wow it holds really really well i still want to do a dedicated video on making a balloon garland with rubber bands so really excited so let's fix some things up who's ready to go and see how our balloon garland looks like i know mirror filming is the best right not <laughs> anyways as you can see right behind me there's a outside window right there and we can't see that there's some color so that means balloons are still inflated i'm curious to see how everything's gonna look like i started i hung my balloon garland at 11 a.m and now it's 3 p.m so four hours let's go see how everything looks right now and here is my garland you guys it's very very cold outside i'm shivering even though i'm wearing a coat but look at these balloons i am very surprised after four hours none of the balloons popped deflated or anything happened with them every single balloon is there yes they might deflate a little bit but they didn't lose any shine look at this i am very very surprised you guys even these foiled balloons someone guessed on my instagram story that these will shrink i believe if you fill your foiled balloons with helium then helium shrinks in cold weather uh, this balloon is filled with just normal air and i don't think air shrinks inside of balloons so balloons look beautiful they look great non-deflated i mean they're perfect right um, maybe balloons became a little bit softer but everything looks great all right hopefully this garland will look just as beautiful tomorrow as it looks today we'll see i might do one more chicken today but it's getting a little bit dark right now at three o'clock it's gonna yeah they're gonna lose a little bit of light so i'm gonna go inside warm up because i can't feel my hands my last check in of the day it's eight o'clock in the evening uh it's been five hours since our previous update you guys balloons oh it's so cold you can't even imagine it's windy i think you can even see my camera shaking anyways um balloon garland is holding up pretty well balloons are staying um nice and blown only this part got shredded for some reason one balloon popped and everything else is kind of like dangling i don't know but these foiled balloons um yes they did deflate um 
a little more last overlook of this garland and i'll see you all back tomorrow Woo, let's go good morning you guys it's the next day it's almost nine in the morning right now so 13 hours passed since our last update are you ready to see how this garland looks i am very excited to show it to you I am so surprised to see this balloon garland intact it's still very windy outside not very but windy and I hope you can hear me but you guys this side of this balloon garland took a beating brutal beating by wind and this portion over here I don't see literally no changes whatsoever nothing I mean all all the balloons held up everything looks exactly the same as I left it yesterday maybe some streamers got tangled in you know in balloons but what like seriously and this section of my garland took a brutal beating by wind ah uh, yes a lot of balloons not a lot but a few balloons popped like this one here and this one got deflated very badly because it was flopping everywhere it was crazy yesterday you should have heard the wind you should have feel the temperature it was freezing outside so there's one another balloon there's another right here and one more over there that popped that i see so far i mean it's not that bad oh by the way this star got untangled and it flew somewhere i have no idea where it is i probably will find or i could find part of this star somewhere on my neighbor's yard but you guys i am surprised how good these balloons held up i am pretty sure my observation is that heat and cold is totally and completely different cold is just cold weather no humidity no heat from the sun and things like that and during summer it's totally different because your sun is shining it's very hot you get a lot of humidity and it's balloon starts to oxidize and lose their shine and they become very very soft and they don't last long and cold you guys these balloons didn't lose that much shine they became a little bit softer than they were but not bad you guys not bad if you're planning to have your garland during winter or fall season when it's a little bit colder outside i would say go right ahead because i'm telling you i am very surprised this is it you guys this is the test of my balloon garland outside i am so surprised by how well these balloons held up outside in the, those conditions that i placed them in qualitex balloons no problem there i mean i didn't even doubt Qualitex balloons because they are really, really, really good quality balloons. And yes, but Party City balloons, I was like, what? Yes, the right side of my balloon garland got beaten up pretty hard. Some balloons popped, I think three balloons or four balloons popped. Not bad at all, you guys. One of the foil balloons untangled and flew away somewhere. I'm pretty sure neighbors are really, really happy to find trash on their lawn. And they know exactly where it came from, from me. My final thoughts about having balloon garlands outside. I feel like you can absolutely, confidently go and place your balloon garlands outside in the cold weather. I would do it again if I would need to do it. You guys, as long as you live in the area where you don't get a lot of crazy wind, it's totally, totally doable and your balloon garland will last for quite a while. I hope you enjoyed this test of balloon garland. If you have any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them all. I will try to help you out to the best of my ability. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with family and friends, that's always helpful. And yeah, you guys, I hope you'll have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye!